Hello, today we are going to design Eiffel Tower and I'm going to show you a few more tips and tricks to design easy in SOLIDWORKS. Open a new part and start to sketch on top plane first. Right click, sketch. We are going to draw two central lines. Click, hold, drag the line and release the click. And we are going to sketch one rectangle. We will add some dimension, 30.2. And we are going to make these two sides equal. Select this rectangle here, click this line and go in mirror. Make the same thing for the other side, just unselect this here and again mirror. Add dimension 63.8, 63.8. Exit the sketch, go in future, extrude both base. First, select this sketch. 5 millimeters and just click OK. The next thing that we are going to do is the first side. So we will design on front plane, make few central lines, again hold, draw, release. We need three more. So here, here, and here, and we'll make one line here. I will add first few dimension. This is 276.5. This here is 193.7. And this here should be 103.5. Draw a few more lines now. This will be one line here first. Then we need one radius arc and one more time draw arc till here. Make these two coincident. These two also coincident these two also coincident. I will add few dimensions for first. 6 millimeters, 7.4. Then from here to here to the center line we need 17.3 and last point is 58.5. I will add few more lines now. And we need one arc here. These two has to be coincident. And this here will be deleted. I will add one dimension here, 25, and here we need 22.3. I will select all these lines now and go in mirror, mirror about this center line here. Click OK. This become blue, so we will add the same dimension until this point and click OK. We need to sketch one more thing and we'll start to sketch from here somewhere. We'll add few dimension 42. This will be 57.5. This will be 14. 
and this here 5.9. Also se select these lines and this central line, click mirror, exit the sketch and uh, go in future, extrude both base, first select the sketch, extrude both base, midpoint 117 and just click OK. We will repeat this thing now just on right plane. Again, so start few central lines. Central line here, central line here. Now will be easier a little bit. Radius. One more time, radius. Just make sure these two are coincident. Oh, tangent. This to tangent, this and this here coincident. Also, the points has to be coincident with these center lines. Good. Uh, we'll add few dimension, like before six. This here is 7.4, then this here is 17.3, from here to here we have 58.5, okay, already was coincident with this here line. Now we'll sketch a few more things, one line and one arc. Just go back and then you can drag uh, arc. So again, the arc is coincident, but I will delete that. I need it to be coincident with this here center line. Again, add dimension here, 25. And here we need 22.3. Again, we can sketch this here faster than few lines. Add few dimension. This is 14. From here to here, we need 45, 42. And here is 57.5. Go in mirror, mirror about this line here, click OK. Again, this is blue, so I will add the, the right dimension here. We need everything to be black. The different thing that we are going to use now is to sketch a few more lines here that we need for extruding cut from this side and one line from this side and uh, we are going in future extrude cut we'll select this here and this here we will make true all and click ok also don't forget direction too Okay, we, we forget the, the middle part, so right click here, edit future, and just edit this region here, click OK. Also, I forget the middle part and this part here, we'll need to edit the sketch first, go in sketch, right click, edit, 
line, exit the sketch, edit the future, select this here and OK. Now is OK. The next thing that we are going to sketch is the point on the top of the Eiffel. We will sketch on front plane. For first, we need one center line. And then few lines. And, and at the end, one arc. Before we add few dimensions, we will make these two lines tangent. Then we need smart dimension, 9 millimeters. Also from here to here, we need 9. Then we will add one dimension here, 4. This here is 1.5. This here is 3 millimeters. We'll, we'll move this point to this side. This is 0.8. This here is 6 millimeters. Now we'll add here 56.5 degree. Then this here has to be 1.7. And I will add few lines more. One point four here, one point four, then from here to here we need three point three, and this here is point nine. You're going to select these three lines, sketch linear sketch pattern, use epsilon direction three times, x one time, and we will add here five. Okay, again smart dimension, 5 millimeters. Then here we need 14. We'll use stream now. And I will sketch one more line here. Then go in future. Space and click OK. One thing that I forget is chamfer one millimeter here and OK. The next thing that we are going to do is again sketch on front plane. We will use one rectangle here. I forget to sketch two center lines. Always first make the center lines. Then I will make these two points coincident. I will add few dimension. This here has to be 3.3. And uh, one more time, this here 4 millimeters smart dimension. And uh, from here to here, we need 1 millimeter. Uh, go in. Uh, Extrude cut 10 millimeters. OK, click OK. And then we will just select this here, go in circular pattern. For direction, we will use this surface here, this face, and we'll draw here 12. Click OK. That's OK. Now we need to create one reference plane. Fifty three millimeters. Just flip offset. Fifty eight millimeters. Click OK. Now 
now we will sketch on uh, this plane we need two center lines hold and drag hold and drag now we'll make one rectangle these two will be equal and uh, this will be coincident with this and also this here point and this line intersection uh, smart dimension 37.8 go in uh, future both base one millimeter change direction click ok we will hide this pl plane and we are going to sketch one more time on the right than on the front plane so we need one line these two has to be collinear these two collinear then I will drag this little bit one more line here and we are going in extrude cut midpoint eight millimeters okay make the same thing for the other side sketch on front plane now again a few lines cleaner here also cleaner one more for these two points extrude cut 80 millimeters midpoint and click ok now we'll sketch on this surface here we need we need two uh, rectangles one and the second here to here these two has to be equal then we will add from here to here one millimeter also from here to here one and uh, go in future pose base extrude it nine millimeters click ok the next thing that we are going to do is to sketch on this surface here and uh, we will add for first two center lines now we need one rectangle This rectangle will be for construction and I will add one dimension 15 make these two lines equal this point has to be coincident with this line here and I will just add one dimension 13.2 here now I will sketch one more rectangle here and I will add few more smart dimension 0.7 and here 0.7 and uh, I will select this here to go in mirror mirror about this center line here click OK one more time select this all 
mirror mirror about this center line here and uh, now we are going in extrude pose base up to surface we'll select this surface here and uh, we will make draft on draft outward and click ok so the next thing that we are going to do is to sketch on uh, front plane we'll make one center line or line for construction for first and then we will we will continue to sketch few triangles here i will add few dimension this here is 1.5 also make these two lines cleaner then i will make this here 1.9 this has to be 8.8 .8. this has to be 5.3 then we need one dimension from here to here 54 this here is 8 and this here is 7.4 then we will continue to sketch here one center line. Then we will continue to sketch a line here. I will add few dimension. 13.8, this here is 10 millimeters. Make these two lines parallel. Here we need perpendicular and from here to here we need 2.7 then we will sketch one triangle here these two has to be parallel here we need 2.4 here we need if, if you have like me one perpendicular relation just delete it Select it and delete it. And one one relation 63.5. And here we need 52.5. And we will add one more uh, dimension here. This is 12. We need from here to here 3.15. We are going to draw one more rectangle here and add few dimension 2.4 5.7 9 millimeters this will be 13 and this here 8 now i need one triangle here these two lines are parallel and they has to be 2.6 also make these two parallel and we'll add few dimension this is 10 millimeters also this here is 10 millimeters then we need to make this here and this here coincident now i'm going to sketch one more triangle something like this we will add few dimension 11.5 23 this is 15 make these two lines parallel also make one dimension from here to here 1.5 millimeters and one relation between these two coincident next triangle will be here something like that this will be 9.5 this here is 11.5 here we need perpendicular we have already then make these two lines parallel 
at dimension 1.8 and from here to here we need one millimeter now we'll make one triangle here at dimension 7.8 and 5 make this and this here parallel then I will add one dim dimension between this here one millimeter and and between these two 1.5 and I will need one more between these two four millimeters that's okay and uh, we will draw one triangle here this will be parallel with this here and with this here then I will make smart dimension two millimeters here we need 1.1 then here we need 18 and this here is perpendicular now I will need one triangle here these two these two has to be parallel and I will add one dimension 4 or 3.5 better then I will define the angle this 45.3 the other side also 45.3 this here and this here has to be horizontal and also this here and this here has be has to be coincident now I need to sketch one more thing here this has to be parallel then I will draw here 30 I will make this point and this point vertical then uh, this has this has to be ve uh, also vertical and uh, make this till here somewhere and add one dimension between these two 1.5 millimeters and uh, the last thing that we will make is 8 this here now I need to sketch one more I think it will be the last one from the bigger make these two parallel then we will make this here 1.5 and uh, this also has to be horizontal now I need to draw a few more things I will add one central line and uh, then few dimension four this is three okay and from here to here we need somewhere three millimeters it should be in middle seven so seven point seven divide by two three point five will be better and also one dimension here too so I will select these three lines and I will make linear sketch pattern four times this direction and five millimeters Point five, okay, and one more time this these three lines 
zoom in if you have the same problem like me and one more time linear sketch pattern go seven times now here one change direction 2.5 four three millimeters maybe will work 3.5 or maybe we will make this six times and make five 4.5 yeah one more time and that's all I think now we're going to select this all also this line here and we are going to make mirror mirror about this line and click OK okay so we will make now extrude cut through all both direction and click OK now go in future circular pattern select the last extrude cut uh, 2 times 19 degree and uh, here we need one circle select this circle here and we'll click ok so perfect now we are going to sketch on this surface here of course first we'll make one center lines one more here and uh, I will sketch one midpoint line make sure it's vertical and I will make one arc and these two has to be coincident okay the arc will be 3.5 millimeters radius and here and here I need 0.7 now I will use mirror and select this line here and just click mirror then I will select these two half circles and uh, half circles and I will use linear sketch pattern I will make it here 9.5 and 6 times maybe it will be 9 millimeters better mm, 9.3 so I, I'm looking not to cut this edge here and also this side now now is perfect then I need second direction fifty five point eight it will be fifty five point eight click OK now I will need to add one relation between these two then one here and and also one relation between this and this here five it's okay now go in extrude cut three millimeters is okay And just click OK so everything is just perfect now select this cut extrude go in circle pattern use this here face make it 
four times. Oh, 360. Yes, now it's okay. And click OK. So the 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 next thing that we are going to draw is the two planes. One will be here. Second reference here. Okay, and the other one. We'll select this plane and just add seven millimeters so parallel to, to plane two. Click OK. Now we'll sketch for some plane two. We'll make one rectangle. And now uh, uh, exit the sketch and sketch on plane three now. Make again one rectangle. I will make center lines for first. And I will add the relation between these three symmetric, also between these three lines symmetric. And I will add one P measure here 40. I will exit the sketch. And now go in future, load the post base, profile one, profile two, wrong profile, <laughs> this here, the green points, okay, just click OK. Hide these two planes, save the document. The next thing that we are going to do is to sketch on this surface here. We'll make first two center lines or lines for construction. One, two, and now we need two rectangles. I will add first relations. This and this here is coincident. This and this here is coincident. Also for this here. Then from here to here we need one millimeter. And from here to here we need two millimeters. Click OK. Exit the sketch. Go in extrude cut. 15, six millimeters. Click OK. Then I will sketch on this here surface. I will make first one center line. Then I will need few lines. From here to here, I need point three. This has to be midpoint, and from here to here, I need one millimeter. And from here to here, we need 1.5. Then select these three lines, click mirror. Now we are going to use linear sketch pattern, seven or six times. This has to be 3.3 maybe. Six times, click OK. Select this here, also this line here, and go in mirror. Just add one dimension. We need everything to be black. And Go in extrude cut. Here we will select up to vertex and we are going to select this point here. Click OK. Everything is just fine. Then we are going to select this cut extrude 
Going circular pattern. Select this space here. Four times 360. Click OK. Save the document. Now we are going to make one thing here. So sketch. Use this surface. Go in extruded both base, three millimeters. Click OK. Then I will sketch on this surface here. I will make for first center line. Then I will make one rectangle has to be 2 millimeters and this here is 3.8 millimeters make these three lines symmetric also I will make one more central line also make these three lines symmetric select this here go in sketch linear Sketch pattern four times four millimeters five five point five millimeters or maybe this will be five times and we will make here four millimeters or four point five four point three four point four perfect I will add just one dimension here between this here and this here. 0.6 is okay. Then I will select these things here, mirror, mirror about this line. Click OK. Go in extrude cut to all. Just click OK. Select cut extrude future circular pattern 19 two times and direction is here so perfect click ok right on the front plane we'll make few triangles, <laughs> few more at dimensions, one millimeter, then this will be 10 millimeters, then this will be six here, and we need one more between these two, 1.5. Then I will create one rectangle, one triangle here, one here. These two has to be parallel, and also this here collinear. Just delete this thing here. Then add one relation between these parallel. I will need here one dimension, 1.3. Here is 1.5. Then I will need to drag this a little bit here. And I will make these two perpendicular. This has to be this has to be six millimeters and this here has to be nine millimeters. I will add one relation between this here and this here. Seven point one. Then I need one dimension between these three, three millimeters. 
I will create one more thing. And in the end, one thing here. And the last two things that we have to draw is this here. So this will be parallel. We'll add one millimeter. This here has to be two millimeters. And this point will be horizontal with this point here. This point will be horizontal with this point here vertical then we'll make this thing we'll make these two parallel at dimension one millimeter then we'll make this point and this here this point and this line coincident we'll change this a little bit This has to be 8.5, this here is 9.5, this here and this here is 3.8 millimeters. And now I will select all of these things, make linear sketch pattern, two times one time I will change this here 12 here or maybe 15 better we can dash 104 we'll try this here three times and just click OK make one relation between these two here 0.5 and uh, I will change something here up and I will make one line here. It will be parallel with this here. And I will make trim. The other thing that I'm going to change is this here. Collinear and use trim also. Perfect. I'm going to sketch one center line now. Also center line. Mirror entities. I'm going to use now extrude cut. True all. Two directions. Click OK. Now I will make circular pattern. I will use this here. Two times and 19 is okay. Click OK. So the next thing that I have to do is to sketch on this surface here. I will make one rectangle. Also this here, 0.5. Make extrude cut. Blind, change direction. Two millimeters. Click OK. I don't want inside to have that things. So again, sketch on front plane, center line, then we need one rectangle, here has to be perpendicular, from here to here we need one millimeter. 
then this tree has to be symmetric. I will create one central line here. So from here to here I need 0.4 and from here to here I need 0.5. Then I will make one more triangle. So these two vertical or coincident, then these two parallel. Make this here 0.8, then select these three lines and midpoint go in sketch. We are also select this here. And this line mirror. Now I will select all of this and go in linear pattern epsilon six times x zero and we'll make 16. Change direction, click OK. I will add just one dimension, so from here to here, 16 millimeters. I will go in extrude cut through all both directions, click OK. Select the last cut, go in future, circular pattern. Select this space here, two times, click OK. Now we are going to continue to sketch on front plane. We need to make a few more things. First, center line. Again, one more center line here, one more here. Then I will add dimension 5.55 here, and I will draw a few triangles. So first one, second one. And third one will be mirror from this one. Here we have 0.2. Of course, these two has to be parallel. Also, these two parallel. These points here vertical. This here vertical. Also, yeah, this here, of course, is vertical. And then from here to here. I will write 0.5, then I need from here to here 0.7, from here to here 2.75. This also has to be vertical. This here and this here coincident. And from here to here 1.6. I will select these things and at this line here I will make mirror. Now I need to make one linear sketch pattern. Change direction 3.7. 4. Click OK. And one more time linear sketch pattern. Four times here, one, six millimeters, change direction, click OK. Just add one dimension. So I will draw center line one more time. Vertical and coincident with origin. I will draw a few lines, make these two merge. This here will be 96.66. This here is horizontal and it has to be 4.5. From here to here we need 1.5 and this is 
12.8 then from this point to the origin center line 7.5 now I will sketch here one rectangle triangle these two has to be coincident then these two parallel then from here to here I need point eight then I will make one other thing these two has to be vertical these two has to be horizontal and this here and this here coincident also this point and this line coincident then this is 2.5 make this line make this line and this line parallel make these two parallel and add one dimension here 0.8 from here to here we need 5.5 I will make one central line here and I will make these three things symmetric uh, this here is 5.9 and one more thing to make here this has to be parallel then from here to here we have 0.7 from here to here we have 0.6 and this here and this here is coincident select these things this line here go in mirror we are about of course this here click ok go in future extrude cut through all direction to click ok now select this cut extrude go in circular pattern select this face two times 90 degree and click OK and we can make decoration here one more time sketch on front plane and we'll make text so extrude cut we'll make just one direction now click OK and we can also from the other side do something maybe gain front plane through the cut through all so that's all for this video and we'll continue the next Monday with new video and of course don't forget to subscribe something and see you in next video.